Hi all and welcome back to Scala Collections. Up until now, we have seen lists and all the related operations in quite detail. One reason that I have covered list in so much detail because list is most commonly used operation. And secondly, all the operations that we have performed on list can be performed on other collections in the similar fashion. Let us now discuss about other type of collections in Scala. In this video, I will discuss working on sets. In Scala, sets are similar to list. Sets are collection of different element of the same type. Unlike lists, sets do not contain any duplicate elements. And finally, another point worth noting about sets is that they do not maintain any order of the element. Sets can be both mutable and immutable. By default, sets in Scala are immutable. You, you can create mutable sets in Scala by importing scala.collection.mutable.set. Let's take a look on how sets work. Let me jump straight to the ripple to play around with sets. Now here I have an example of a set with number of different strings in there. It is a famous Latin phrase, I came, I saw, I conquered, usually attributed to Julius Caesar. So I have created a set named words. And as you can observe that Scala has removed duplicate i and set only contain one instance of i. There are three basic operations you can perform on sets, whether they are mutable or immutable. These are head, tail and is empty. So let's go ahead and take a look at these operations. Okay. So first, I will try out words.head. So there you go, head retrieves the very first element in the set that is i. Next is tail that retrieves everything but the first element i. And finally, is empty. It determines the status of the set. If set does not have any element, true is returned. And if it's populated, then false is returned. As you can see here, we, saw, we see false because we know it's populated. Let's move on to concatenate sets. Here is another phrase that became popular centuries later, and that is, we came, we saw, we conquered. I have assigned this phrase to another words. So I have got different examples with two different sets. And what I would like to do is to add them together. So it's really simple. I'll create a new set, all words, pick up our first set that is word, and then a dot or a period and plus plus operator, which is our concatenation operator, and then in parentheses and other words. And here is the result. As we have seen earlier, you can omit the dot and parentheses. Remember, sets are not are non-sequenced, meaning that they are in no particular order. And second, sets are mean to contain only unique values, so duplicate items are removed. In this case, you can see that only one instance of words came, saw, and conquered is displayed. All right, by this time, you must be getting a hang of how sets can be used in your day-to-day -day programming. Let us move on to see another use case of sets. You can also find the minimum or maximum value of a set. So let's switch to numbers. Now what I want to do here is take the set which contain numbers and then let's fetch minimum of all numbers and that will give us the lowest possible value of that set no matter what the order is. 
I will do the same thing and I will show you max and there you go now just in case you were curious let's go back to our words I want to show you something you can also do this on strings and I will run it now the thing about this is that it is not going to give us exactly the result that we might want you can see that came and v are returned as maximum and minimum values so it's not necessarily useful although it can be used on strings and as it would be with numbers other things that you can try on your own with sets is printing all the elements in a set mapping over a set filter any element etc try out all the operations that we have learned in our previous videos but that was just a quick explanation of how sets work in Scala sets are quick handy tool to find out unique elements in a list there are other Scala collections that we will look at in our future videos I hope you enjoyed it see you next time thanks for watching please post your comments and suggestions.